Hey Grom, Sammy here. How are you going? Most of you know that we're on a special topic called Surprise the World. And we have been spelling out the word bells. Remember, three weeks ago, we actually were looking at bless. Who remembers that? And then, two weeks ago, we had Thanksgiving and we got to eat with everyone, which led into last week, eat. And this week, we're looking at a new topic, starting with the letter L. Mmm, I wonder, can anyone guess what that could spell? Ooh, I'll give you a clue. Something to do with your ear. <laughs> Some of you Groms, junior youth ones, will know this because we have been looking at this. Yeah, it's listen. Listen to God. So that's what we're going to look at today. Now, before we go on, we're going to play a game, all right? So get ready. I'll explain in a second what we're going to do. Hey, Gromans, hang on. It's time for a game. So, Groms, for the game, we're going to play another Minute to Win It game. This one is called Dizzy Mummy. Now, what you need for that is two toilet paper rolls. So grab a leader and get them to grab two toilet paper rolls for you. When you've got that, I'm going to explain the rules for you. So grab that now and I'll tell you what's going to happen. Okay, guys, so now that you've got your toilet paper, what we'll need to do is have one person hold the end of the toilet paper and the other people will help hold the toilet paper and start spinning. So what you've got, you've got to start spinning and spin as much of this toilet paper out in one minute. You guys have got one minute to spin all of the toilet paper, okay? So the person that's holding the toilet paper will also spin, okay? Just like this, start spinning and your timer's oh. gonna start and you guys, if it falls off, hold it on and get someone to help and spin it all the way around. So each team, We'll need to go as fast as they can, but also slowly so they don't break it. And you guys have got a minute to unravel and spin up as much toilet paper keep as going, possible. Keep going. <laughs> keep going, keep going. See if you can go faster. Go, go, go. Just like that, guys, okay? All right, now are you ready to have your go? We are going to start the timer in five, four, three, two, one. Groms, what did you think of that game? Did you guys have fun? Awesome. So, I have someone very special that's going to share our Bible verse today. So, let's go have a look. Mark 1.35-38 Before daybreak the next morning, Jesus got up and went out to an isolated place to pray. Later, Simon and the others went out to find him. When they found him, they said, everyone is looking for you. But Jesus replied, we must go on to another, we must go to other towns as well, and I will preach to them. That is why I came. During Jesus' time on earth, he prayed a lot. He knew that prayer would keep him close to God, his Father. Sometimes Jesus would pray with others, like when he asked Peter, James, and John to come with him to a mountain to pray. Other times, Jesus would leave his disciples and pray by himself so he would have time alone with his Father. 
what Jesus prayed. He prayed for all sorts of things. He prayed for his disciples, for those in need of healing, and for little children. Jesus even prayed for us and asked his Father to watch over us. That's right, Jesus prayed for you and for me. Through Jesus' prayers, we can learn how to pray too. Jesus used the Lord's Prayer to teach his disciples to pray. It wasn't long and fancy. He showed them that they could pray in a simple way about many different things. Our prayers can be the same way. Jesus also taught us that we should pray without giving up. God is always listening to what we say. The way he answers our prayers might be different from what we expect, but we can always trust his plan for us. So the next time you're happy or sad, or worried or angry, or just need help, talk to God about it. He listened to his son's prayers, and he'll listen to yours too. Wow, Groms, what did you think of that? Jesus spent a lot of time praying and listening to God, hey? And we should do the same, right? But how do we hear God's voice? How do you hear God's voice? Well, let's take a look in the Bible at someone who God spoke to. Okay. Stories of the Bible. God speaks to Samuel. This is Samuel. Hi. Samuel was the son of Hannah. Hey, Samuel. Hannah prayed for God to give her a son, and God did. So Hannah gave Samuel back to God. See you, Samuel. Bye, Mom. And Samuel grew up in the temple serving under Eli, the priest. Hi, Eli. As Samuel grew up, he learned how to serve God from Eli. Samuel lived in the house of God, but he did not know God or what God's voice sounded like. In those days, messages from God were rare. But one night after Eli had gone to bed, Samuel was sleeping in the tabernacle when suddenly God called out, Samuel! Huh? Samuel got up and ran to Eli and said, Did you call me? Not me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. Then God called out again, Samuel! Huh? And again Samuel got up and ran to Eli asking, Did you call me? Not me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. God called Samuel for a third time, Samuel. Huh? And Samuel went to Eli yet again. Hmm. After three times, Eli realized that God was trying to speak to Samuel. So Eli taught Samuel to say, Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. Okay. Samuel went back to bed, and God came and called as before, Samuel, Samuel! And Samuel said, Speak, your servant is listening. God told him many things about what would happen to Israel. As Samuel grew up, God was with him, and everything God spoke through Samuel came true. Samuel was seen as a great prophet of God because he could hear the voice of God and he listened when God spoke to him. Guys, what did you think of the story of Samuel? How cool was that, that God actually spoke directly to him? Since this week is on listening to God, we're going to spend some time now praying and listening to God. And what I'm going to do is put on some music for you. And we're going to pray and then spend some time in silence, just listening, getting rid of all distractions and people around, okay? Now what we can do is ask God to speak to you and you could ask Him anything. You could ask Him how he loves you or to show you that or we could look at what we've actually been looking at for these weeks on who we could bless or who we could eat with or you could ask God God 
please show me someone that I can pray for. And what we're going to do now is pray and then we're going to spend some time in silence just listening, all right? And that's okay, guys. If you don't hear anything from God, that's all right because he might want to speak to you in a different way or a different time. But if he does, listen very carefully. He could speak to you. Maybe he could share a song. He could speak to you a Bible verse to you. He could even show you someone's name or show you someone's face that he wants you to pray for or bless or eat with. So let's close our eyes now and we're going to pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for loving us, God. We want to ask right now, God, that you come and speak to us, God. We want to hear your voice and listen to you, God. Please take away all distractions, God, so that we can hear you clearly on whatever you want to say to us right now. Please speak to us in Jesus' name. Okay, Groms, what you can do now, hopefully you have one of these sheets and what I've made, it's a prayer page. And so what you can do is write down what you think God is speaking to you. You could draw a picture of what he's speaking. You could write someone's name in some of these who God wants you to bless, to eat with or to pray for. You can color it in. You can write answers that God might have spoken to you, all right? So go now and write this down and share with each other what God might be speaking to each of you. See you later, Groms.